News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us with that story. Good evening, Lenny. Good evening, Stacy. Brooke Rice was just 16 years old and weeks away from her junior year, and her mom tells me that she had a light that shined so bright that it inspired everyone around her. And tonight she has one simple message to buckle up for Brooke. It's been five years since Brooke Rice passed away. The pain still palpable for her mother, Tammy Calhoun. I would tell her how very proud I am of her. And and how wonderful she is to us always. Brooke was just 16 years old, a standout student who could light up any room, but her life was cut short in an instant when a car ride in a neighborhood turned deadly. Brooke would be here today if she had her seatbelt on. It's devastating because we live with the consequences and the pain and suffering. Her best friend, Sophie Schrader, was also in the car. An animal had walked out across the road and it spooked my friend who was the driver. She overcorrected. It was also raining, so it didn't help. And we had spun out and flipped. Brooke was not wearing a seatbelt. Yeah, none of us were wearing a seatbelt. Um, three of us were ejected out of the car. Your survivability without a seatbelt is not very, is not very good. Trooper William Smith has been serving with Florida Highway Patrol for 41 years, an eyewitness to the dangers when passengers aren't wearing a seatbelt. You get thrown out, and if you don't get thrown out, you're you're thrown around in the car like a like clothes are in a washing machine. Meanwhile, Calhoun continues to celebrate Brooks life with a scholarship for high school students. Her message resonating throughout the state to buckle up for Brooke. It brings joy to our, our torn hearts, you know, that she's always remembered. And her mom went on to say that spreading awareness about seatbelt safety is the best way for them to move forward. They also have that scholarship. They award an outstanding high school student every year. We have much more information about that scholarship on our website. In Tampa, Lenny Sue Paul, 8 on your side.